What's going on everybody? Kenny Bomb is in the building and we have a massive update on the wrestling code. Well, it's massive based on how you look at it because we haven't really seen much in-game footage on this. So the fact that they're actually letting players get their hands on it, that's pretty big, so we gotta talk about it. But first, it's giveaway season. And this is a big one because I'm giving away a PlayStation 5, a Xbox Series X, or a Steam Deck. All we gotta do is hit 30,000 subscribers by the end of March. Pushed it a little bit to be fair. So drop a like on this video to help spread the word and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any updates on any of your favorite pro wrestling games. Now let's get into it. Man, boy, they coming out. So this all went down on February 1st. And we also covered it on February 1st on the second channel, Off the Top. That's where me and five creative geniuses come together and talk everything pro wrestling and pro wrestling only. Make sure you check it out. The link is in the description. So Tony Cheney is the guy who was in the most recent trailer with Sandman, and he also did a lot of mocap in the game. He went on X and posted this. Do you want a chance to play the first movement demo of the wrestling code? Come on out to Warwick, Rhode Island, Saturday, February 17th at the new England Fan Fest 9, where you can meet me, Lloyd and Oai, I don't know how to say their last name, y'all, but he's Roman Reigns' cousin, and have the chance to move around as me in the Grim Toy Studio Shaw Arena. Get your tickets right now. So on February 17th, the public will have a chance to get their hands on the wrestling code. Now, I know a lot of people might complain and say it's not big because it's just a movement demo, but one thing Brian brought up to me, Brian from uh, Off the Top, make sure y'all check him out, just Brian on YouTube. He's making some great 2K content right now. Brian brought up the fact that he was interested to see how things worked outside of the ring. Now, when I heard movement demo, I was thinking about just this, walking around in the ring with Tony Cheney, bouncing off the ropes, different things like that. But if we look at what's outside of the ring, how can we interact with these objects? Are we gonna be able to get out of the ring in this movement demo, or is it just gonna be him walking around in the ring? I don't know if they actually show it in this video. Let's see. No, I don't think so. But there's like a contraption up here where you can, let's see if we can find it. All right, shout out to Smack Talks, so love you to death, but you could actually see it very clear in his video. I'm wondering if the uh, gameplay movement demo is gonna be just like this because Look at all you can do in this movement demo. You can see he can get out of the ring. Everything does look really smooth here, but this is why I say a movement demo is important because if you ever played the WWF Attitude games on like PlayStation or Nintendo 64, they were very slidey and floaty. If you ever played Backyard Wrestling on Xbox 360, the movement didn't feel great. Games like Celebrity Deathmatch, the movement didn't feel great. So if the movement demo at least feels good, then battle number one has been won. Battle number two is gonna be collision detection because that's very important in the wrestling game as well. But I'm wondering in this movement demo if we will be able to get out of the ring, climb up here, maybe climb this ladder, go on top of this. They probably won't let us jump down in the ring since there's really nobody to aim and target at, but just being able to interact with these items. Can we go to this table and maybe make it slide when we step on it? Can we climb up on top of these items? That's gonna be a lot of interesting things I wanna know. Now, I don't know if I'm going to take this flight because I will also have to get a hotel, take the flight back, get a rental car, all of that stuff. So maybe not this time, but if they give us something in the future where we can actually get two wrestlers in the ring touching each other in a wrestling way, then I'll definitely fly out for that. But if you're close to Rhode Island, I definitely recommend going out and checking this thing out. Maybe you can come on the channel with me and talk about your experience. I don't know if y'all want to do that or not, but I'm definitely down. But I think the fact that they're letting the public come out and get their hands on this thing finally kills that is the wrestling code real conversation. It's taking them a long time to get it done, but we just got to give them time to cook, y'all. I'd rather them take a long time and give us a good wrestling game than rush out a bad one because Lord knows we got enough bad wrestling games right now as it is. But thank y'all for tuning into this video. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the wrestling code. Make sure you check out our second channel off the top. The link is in the description and smash that subscribe button on this one as well on the road to 30k for this big giveaway bomb squad let's get to that